Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I have my Hobonichi Tetsuo 2020 unboxing video, haul video, whatever you want to call it. I've been doing these for the last two to three years now, but I finally received this during the week, so let's go right ahead and unbox it. I'm so, so excited. If you guys order from Hobonichi, then you'll know that every year their boxes have different colors. Um, there was like a pink year, a yellow year, I think there was a blue year, I can't remember. So this year is green. Um, what I might do is I'll put this on my lap so, ooh, sorry, so you can see um, everything I ordered. What I'm gonna do is put this aside and then pull one item out at a time. So, as you can see, I have a couple planners here, but I only ordered one cover, and that's just because I have so many covers from previous years that unless I see a cover that really screams to me that I really want, I generally don't buy the covers anymore. I just reuse the covers and I just store the planners away. But it's so nice. So let me open it up because I think I'll just put my planner right in during this video so you can see how it all fits together. So this one is for the Techo Cousin, which is the larger of the two. I've got the small original size here plus the weeks and then I've got the Cousin. So what I'll do is I'll unbox the Cousin first. I um, really don't think there's any changes to the planner itself. At least I didn't see anything online. Sorry, that was really annoying. I think it all looks about the same, but I'll have a quick flip through. It comes with just a little booklet on different ways you can use the planner. Oh, I love this. It's like manga. That is so cool. And the manga, the Japanese is actually pretty simple. Oh my gosh, I think I can actually read this. That's okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it in this video. It's just, I've been learning Japanese for a while. And so when I actually look at this, I'm like, I can read this without having to look up a dictionary. It's, it's kind of overwhelming. Um, so yeah, it talks about the different planners available. I'm not really sure what this is. Put that aside. So this is the Tetra Cousin for 2020. Um, I don't recall there being any real major changes to it. So it, I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. Sorry, the lighting's just gonna keep coming in and out. We'll just have to go keep going in spite of it. So we have the yearly view, we have two year view, the previous year and the following year. Um, and then we have the six month view. I think this looks pretty much the same as last year or this year. So no changes there. We have the monthly view, which yeah, pretty much looks exactly the same. No changes to this year either. And then we go on to the weekly view, which to be honest, kind of looks exactly the same. There's like a couple very, very like minor, minor changes. The space up here is just a tad bigger in case you want to write anything a little bit here like the 12th week thing that used to be up here now it's down here instead um just a few changes here but like structurally it's pretty much exactly the same let me just zoom right in so i can show you because i don't know if it's too far away you got your 5 a.m starting right here whereas in the previous one you'd have like two or three extra grids before the timing started here and then, but I think it's pretty much swapped because if you go right down, it finishes at 4 a.m. But you do have a bit of extra space. So I feel like this extra space used to be at the top. Now it's at the bottom, which take it or leave it. It doesn't really bother me either way. So that is the weekly view. Let's go to the daily view and see if anything's changed there. Nothing's actually changed. This looks exactly the same as the previous years or the previous year this year. So, you yeah, know, the daily view is exactly the same. So sounds like the changes are pretty minimal if... If anything, I feel like most people are not even going to notice it anyways. Um, as you can see, the months all are color-coded, so you can flip to them easily. I got some stickers to mark them out a little bit clearer, so you can see those in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I don't usually use the back of the, the Tetra, so I don't really see this stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much exactly the same. So this is the particular cover I got for the Cousin. I love it because it's the... I mean, look at it. It's pastel. It's beautiful pastel colors and the pockets and everything pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do is I'll just put this in now because why not? So the bookmarks, I tend to use one to book, um, to bookmark the current week that I'm in and then the second one to mark the current day that I'm in. And, um... I get a lot of questions about like what to use each of the planners for. To be honest, I go in and out of the planners quite 
consistently, if that makes sense. Like, I will use my bullet journal. My bullet journal is probably the one planner that I will use all the time. And then you've got my, um, I'll just put these anywhere for now. Uh, I think I'm bending the pages. Um, but then you've got my Erin Condren, which, to be honest, I used to use my Erin Condren a lot more religiously. But I'm finding that it's just not enough space to store all the things I want. So it's turning into almost a bit of a memory keep now where, not a memory keep, like I still plan ahead with it and map out the week, but I usually have to always retrospectively go through and update it to update what actually happened because I don't tend to update it during the week. For my Hobonichi planners, some of them will come to work, like this one for this year comes to work with me, I'll update it, but then there are like weeks where I'll completely forget and it doesn't get updated. So. I'm not very consistent with them, which really sucks because I wish I was, but I think I'm just way more interested in understanding the different planners out there and what works for what situations and stuff like that. Um, and there's just way too many to use consistently besides the bullet journal just because I customize that 100% to my liking. So hope that explains it, doesn't? I don't know. So every year when I get the new Hobonichis, I always like, all right, next year, it's a brand new year, I'm gonna like use this for this and this and this. But you never really know until the time comes. Um, also, just to let you know, there's like a pocket here. Some, in the past, they used to come with plastic covers that you could um, put on yourself. I don't think I got those last year, but the year before you'd get them. Now you have to buy them separately. And then, those of you curious, this is kind of like a pen holder, but also it keeps it closed. So you can, um, let me see, it's a bit stiff at the moment. But you like kind of cross them and put a pen through and then it ensures that it doesn't just fly open in your bag and stuff like that. So that's the cousin, that's the one I got this year. I also ended up getting a original size, which last year I got a full original size and I also got the Avec. So if you get the Avec versions, so this is a full year, but if you get the Avec versions, it's two booklets, um, one from January to June, and then the other one is July to December. And I use the Avec mostly for watercoloring. Um, because I love watercoloring and just doodling and scribbling and I didn't really have a place That I could do that, but also I actually love watercoloring specifically on the Hobonichi paper um, I don't know. There's just something it crinkles. I know some people hate Watercolors using watercolors because it crinkles their paper and it thickens up their book I kind of like it for some reason. I don't even know why it just really appeals to me so that's why I got it but this year I decided to just get one and I didn't bother getting the Avec because I noticed that last year, well this year, um, I'm not really using this one very much. I keep, I'm not really using the Avex as much as I am using this one just for random notes and doodles that I leave on my desk. So I decided I'm not going to bother with two, I'll just get the single. So, and I didn't get a cover because I'm going to reuse the cover I currently have. But let's quickly go through and see if there are any other changes this year. So, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's kind of like a miniaturized version of the cousin. So instead of six months, you get four. Then you get your monthly view, which, whoops, it's about the same as well. And then they don't have the weekly view here. So you'll see that I purchased a separate booklet that does cover the weekly view. Um, that's one of the main reasons I love the cousin because that weekly view is just something about being able to see my whole week. It just makes me really happy. Um, and then this actually looks pretty much the same, so I don't think there's any major changes. There may be some like minor tweaks here and there, but for the most part it looks exactly the same. And the same deal, you've got the color-coded months on the side as well. But this is for the full year, and I cannot wait to start using this. Oh, there's something always so exciting about starting a brand new planner. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to use this particular planner for. I use the Cousin a lot more for jotting down work-related stuff. Um, but this I find sometimes too small, so I don't know whether I'm going to turn this into my watercolor book or maybe a specific thing because I have so many like running projects on the side now that I'm trying to figure out if I should put them all into one planner or whether I should have separate planners for everything that I do. I don't know. Making those sort of decisions is like first world problems, so I'm just going to not complain about it. So yeah, I got this. Um, I also got the weekly planner. And I'll admit that I don't actually like using this particular weekly planner too much. There's something about the ergonomics. Sorry, I stopped talking when I opened this part up because it's so loud. I just can't imagine what the volume's going to be like, um, what it's going to sound like when I edit this video. But um, there's something about this that just doesn't feel very ergonomic to me. Like, I find it actually a little bit hard to use as is. However, 
I have noticed that more and more people are now making sticker kits for this and so I started giving that a shot in this year's planner and I think I like it way better when I use stickers in it but I'm a little concerned how thick this book is going to be by the end of the year after I use all these kits on it. So the main reason I did buy this is that I could then continue to make kits on my sticker shop so really this is kind of more of a business purchase than anything else but um, I thought I'd show it to you guys anyways. A lot of people like it. See when I look at it like this it's just such a nice planner and I just know that like oh if this was the only plan I had I think I could really get used to it and really enjoy using it but I just don't use it. I have no idea why. Just, I feel like it's not ergonomic, but at the same time it is. See, this is the other thing I love about the Hobonichis, is that for the most part when you open them brand new, they open completely flat. Like, the same for this one. Like, look at it. It's amazing. I hate, 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 hate planners that do this whole, like, they, they, they want to close and they just close on you, but I love that with Hobonichi, it opens flat. That's the main thing I fell in love with when I first discovered this brand. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. This, this really was just more to help me get the measurements right and um, really experiment with different styles and stickers that would work for this. I haven't really thought about making stickers for the original or cousin yet. Um, to be honest, I never thought about doing stickers for Hobonichi, but then when I saw it coming up on Instagram, I realized that I need to like stay on track of this stuff. <laughs> Um, and then some other books that I got. These are actually just notebooks. So I ended up getting two notebooks. Um, it's pretty much just graph paper. Although it does change color. So you do have like a bit of an orangey. Then it goes into kind of a green. I don't know. Yeah, okay, it does change color. So graph paper, and I'm pretty sure this is just really big graph paper. Okay, so those are all the planners I got. I do want to open these things because I'm not... I'm not entirely sure what they are. I don't know why I have two, and I don't think I actually ordered these. So before I get into the accessories, let's open these up. I don't know if they're like freebies. I know that each year Hobonichi will give like certain freebies to their orders. So maybe this is it. Or maybe I'm an idiot and I've forgotten what I ordered. Huh? My Japanese is not good enough to actually read all this, so... What is this? The little cards. The little like flip cards. I don't know what these are. I wish I knew. I'm gonna put these away and then after I finish filming this video I might do a little bit of research to see what they are and if I figure out what they are then as I edit this video you'll probably see some text popping up explaining what they are. So now we get into the last bit which is all the accessories which they put in this like bubble wrap. So let's open it up. I didn't really get that many accessories this year because I still have a lot from last year. Um, but these are the, I always look forward to these. These are the pens that come with each of your planners. So because I got three planners the pens automatically come with it. Um, these are uni jet stream pens which if you follow me on like the first video I've ever left uploaded I don't know why I can't talk today upload on this channel you know that the uni jet stream pens are like my favorite ballpoint pens in the world right now and um so these are point fives let's open one up I'm low-key like this like satisfies the collector in me so hard because I've been buying Hobonichi for quite a few years now and I keep at least one pen of this every year and so you can just kind of see the different colors they have this is 2020 so there's 2019, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't really use these pens much um, because these are all 0.5 and I much prefer the 0.3 version, which is the one I actually use. But yeah, I'm just, I just love them. So some of the accessories I bought, as I mentioned, I got the weekly view for the original um, because I love that weekly view. I'm sad that the actual original planner doesn't come with it. So they do offer it in this extra booklet, which I've been doing for years now, where I just have a separate one as an insert. And so, yeah, you can see it's like a mini, mini weekly view for the original. So that couples up together with the one I have. Um, and then I got some index cards, stickers. So I mentioned that the monthly view like each of the months have different colors so you can use this to um stick on the edge of your planner so that you can easily get to each of the months i think there's like two sets in here yeah two sets so i can use one for my original and one for the cousin and then the last thing is just post-it notes because why not um i got these because they're so cute they're like in little 
packets themselves so you can stick them into your planner or put them into one of the side pockets and then just pull them out when you need them so I just thought this was really cute and I got it for no other reason than I just thought it would be useful so yeah, that's everything in this year's Hobonichi Tetra haul. I hope you guys found the video useful. So thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to internet.